Okay, so in this video we're going to be talking about the common ion effect and uh, how that works with the dissociation of zinc sulfide into zinc ions and sulfide ions. In the last video we did this just in water by itself and we found that the molar solubility of zinc sulfide was about 3.3 times, here I'll just write it down, this is from the last video, um, uh, I'll just write it in red here, um, it was 3.3 times 10 to the negative 11. Okay, so let's just kind of remember that up there. Um, that was the molar solubility of zinc sulfide in pure water. Now what we're going to talk about is the molar solubility of zinc sulfide when there's a common ion in the solution. So what that means basically is one of the ions that are common to the, the dissociation here are already going to be present before we drop the zinc sulfide in. So if we make it as an ice table here, remember this is solid so we don't include it. Again, the solid's not appearing in the equilibrium expression either. So we know that, say, let's pick one of these to be our common ion. Let's say it is the sulfide ions. So what we're saying is basically in this jar that we're dropping it into, it's going to be already 0.1 molar in sulfide ions, and there's no zinc ions. So once we drop this in, we're going to get some change. Remember the stoichiometric coefficients, it's plus 1 and plus 1. So we have plus, you know, plus x and x, right? So here we go, we have our equilibrium concentration of zinc ions will just be x, and our equilibrium concentration of sulfide ions will be 0 0.1, so that's molar, plus x molar, okay? So now something we have to talk about here is this is 0 0.1 plus x. If we plug this in, this is going to kind of turn out to start being a little bit of a nasty number to deal with, um, but if we think about this, we had 0 0.1 plus, well, molar solubility uh, in pure water was on the order of 10 to the negative 11. So that's a lot of zeros. That's like 10 zeros before the one. Um, so when you compare it to 0 0.1, that's hardly significant at all. So kind of for the purpose of these questions, and probably for anyone who's watching this, um, what we can do here is we can say that um, 0 0.1 plus x, it's not even a plus sign, plus x is more or less equal to um, 0 0.1, right? So it's going to be like 0 0.1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? And you kind of get the point. So for our purposes, um, you can usually simplify this as long as the, the x value was about a thousand times smaller than, you know, the, the constant value here. So good, good thing to know. It's a little shortcut you can usually take. Um, so we're going to write out here, well, Let's finish this up. We had KSP. Now remember, this is still 1.1 .1, uh, times 10 power of negative 21. Okay, so we have the concentration of zinc ions. So we'll have X and the concentration of sulfide ions. We'll have, remember we're saying 0 0.1 plus X is pretty much equal to 0 0.1. So for our purposes, that's good enough. 0 0.1. And all we have to do here then is multiply 0 0.1 times this value to get x, and x will equal 1.1 times 10 to the power of minus 22. So this again is our molar solubility now of zinc sulfide, but now when there's the common ion present. And you can see here that this common ion has actually really suppressed, you know, it's almost like 11 orders of magnitude. Um, less than it was just in pure water. 